In this example, we want to find the derivative of y equals to sine x all raised to the x power using logarithmic differentiation. The first step is to apply the natural log function on both sides of this equation. So we're going to take the natural log on both sides uh, since we want to solve this using logarithmic differentiation. So that will allow us to bring down the this power of x in the front of the function of sine x. So, okay, so that's the first step. So we're going to take the natural log on both sides. On both sides of the equation. So we have natural log y equals to natural log of sine x all raised to the x power. So on the right hand side, that will allow us to bring down the x in front of the natural log. So we have natural log y equals to x times the natural log of sine x. So the next step is to apply implicit differentiation. Okay, so we're going to take, we're going to use implicit differentiation, okay, to solve for dy dx. So we're going to apply implicit differentiation. Okay, so we're taking the derivative with respect to y. So we're going to have, on the left-hand side, we're going to have 1 over y. So, so the derivative of natural log y is going to be 1 over the argument times y prime. So we have 1 over y times y prime. So I'll go ahead and use dy dx here. Equals to... At this point, we need to use, on the right-hand side, we need to use the product rule for diff for derivatives. So we have x times the derivative of natural log of sine x. Okay, so the first function times the derivative of the second plus the second function, which is natural log of sine x, times the derivative of the first function, which is going to be the derivative of x. Okay, so the next step is to go ahead and apply the derivatives for those. Okay, so we have 1 over y times dy dx equals to x times okay so the derivative of this is we have derivative of natural log u right where u is the argument it's going to be 1 over u times u prime so we have 1 over sine x okay times the derivative of sine x So we take the derivative of the argument, that's coming from the chain rule, plus natural log of sine x times the derivative of x, which is just 1. Okay. Alright, so we have 1 over y times dy dx equals to x times 1 over sine x. The derivative of sine is going to be cosine x plus the natural log of sine x. 
All right. Okay, so we can go ahead and solve for dy dx by isolating this. So we can multiply both sides by y. So we're going to have dy dx equals to y times x times. So we have cosine x over sine x plus natural log of sine x. Okay, then we can go ahead and simplify this some more. So this is going to be dy dx equals to y. So what we can um, we can represent our we can write our derivative on terms of x. So y, okay, we can replace y with the original function here. Okay, y was equal to sine x to the power x. So we have, okay, so replacing y with sine x all to the power x. Again, that's, we're using what we're given, okay? We're given this, right, in the beginning, our original function. So we have sine x to the power x times x times cosine x over sine x, okay? That is cotangent of x, okay? That's, a, that's an identity. Okay, so we have cotangent x plus natural log of sine x. Okay, so that is our derivative, and it's all in terms of x. Okay, so the first step is to take the natural log on both sides of the equation. Okay, that allows us to bring down the x. And then we can apply implicit differentiation on both sides. And then... Uh, we multiply both sides by y and then replace y with the function in terms of x. And that gives us our result.